Some southeast side residents dealing with a stretch of road riddled with potholes say that they've just had enough and they want the city to do something. Fox 26's Randy Wallace reporting live from the southeast side. Yeah, Rosh, now the street behind me is Macawa. We're close to Sam Houston Toll Road South. Now, after spending hours today driving on Macawa, it's easy to understand why residents out here are so upset. As a community, we are fed up. Take a drive down Macawa and you'll quickly see why. In just the past two weeks, I have seen at least minimum five cars that have just been having to... Um, pull out on the on the side of the road because their tires are busted. At some point you have to drive on the opposite side or in the middle just to avoid the gigantic potholes. Just Monday there was three vehicles on the side of the road before airport on Macawa changing tires in the middle of like 6 a.m. Swerving and near misses are a common occurrence on Macawa. The cars are swerving in and out of lanes just to avoid the damage that is going on in their car. In the last two years I've spent about eight thousand dollars in repairs. We've been consistently doing what they've advised us to do for now over a year. Residents say they have filed numerous complaints through 311's C-Click Fix. On it the city touts repairing potholes almost within a day of a complaint being filed. People who drive down Macau would probably find that hard to believe. I would love to somebody from the city to come out and just drive it one day from all the way from 610 to the Beltway on Macau to see all the impacts. I've had to get multiple alignments on my vehicle. Just recently, two days ago, we were advised that Macau is actually on the top of the list of getting repaired. Now, a spokesperson for Public Works couldn't tell us when McCowell would get the much-needed repairs. Now, if you're in the city and you have a pothole issue, be sure to check out C-Click Fix. We've got a link for you on our website. Reporting live from the southeast side, Randy Wallace, Fox 26 News.